Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to Kiara and my Ara Ara Adventure. This game was given to me by Topher Team. They are the developer, and I, you know what? I just want to say thank you for letting me try out your game. So now, let's go ahead and get into it. Ara. Okay, all right. A good thing that some of this is voiced. Hopefully, I don't have to do all the voices. Okay, it's not in English, but that's okay. I wonder if I can uh, make it English. Nope, it looks like it's just going to be, I assume, Japanese. Anyway, where am I? Oh, darn it. Darn it, I am going to have to do some reading. You've had a high fever since this morning. Okay, okay. I don't know what she's saying, but uh, I'm just going to assume she said all that. That's right there. Like, Come on, wake up, my little angel. Okay, now what's, what exactly is happening here? Okay, oh, who? Oh, who am I? Oh, who, who am I? Do I have an amnesia? What is my name going to be? I've used so many. I don't know. Jeff? <laughs> It'll be Jeff. My name Jeff. All right, where am I? What's going on here? I can't remember anything. I think I was in some sort of accident. On my way back from work, I was blinded by a friggin' big bright light. Oh, the next thing I remember, I was in the middle of this bloody epic battle. What? Elves, succubi, cat girls, every kind of exotic girl you could imagine was there battling. Suddenly, though, it felt like all my energy and strength was drained away, and, well, here I am. Quite confusing, I must say. And I try to open my eyes, but I just can't muster it. I try to talk, but my mouth can't form even a single word. In the distance, I hear a voice. A pleasant, yet sensual female voice. Look at that. Oh, it seems you can't fully open your eyes just yet. Dore, dore. Oh, let's see. I think now's a good time to use this thing. With this potion, you'll feel as good as new in no time. Don't be shy now. Shy? Oh, what's happening? Come on, baby. Oh, open your mouth and have a drink. I promise it'll be good. No, that's not what she said at all. Open your mouth and have a drink. I promise you, it'll be fine. Oh, all right. It sounds like I took a drink. Now what? A thick yet slightly unsavory liquid runs down my mouth. Is it medicine? Well, I certainly hope it's not poison. The sweet female voice I've been hearing sounds too nice to do something like that. Right? Dekimashita. And with that, you've taken all your medicine, and now it's just a matter of waiting a few seconds and... Uh, I don't know what she said. You may not be able to raise your eyelids, but I see something else has risen down here. Huh? huh? What's happening? I'm starting to feel a bit better. Is this the effect of that thing I just drank? I feel like my energy is returning, little by little, but I think it's all concentrating down in my pants. Oh. Okay, all right. Uh, well, it could be. I don't, yeah, maybe. Oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate you willing to help me out like this. Oh, uh, okay. You'll be alive and well in just a moment. Okay, thank you. Thank you for helping me out. I slowly open my eyes, and the first thing I see is... Whoa, hey! Oh, oh. What? Okay. Alrighty then. Alright, well... Yeah, I'm... Must be dreaming, for sure. For sure. Okay, well, uh, yeah, so some stuff just happened. Uh, 
And trust me, Jeff feels great now, okay? And he just, he feels fine. All right. After adjusting her clothes, she helps me get up and get dressed. Uh, hi. You look different with your clothes on. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, yeah, I, I would say that I would say that uh, medicine definitely had an interesting effect. What, was that not what it was intended to do, M Master? What? Hold on. What? What? What is? What is she talking about? I, I don't even know what's going on here at, right now. Huh? Oh. Yeah, how am I her master now? Is it because of the love potion I gave back to her? I don't know. Okay. What is happening here? I don't even know who's talking now. Is it me? Or is it her? I don't know. What? What's, what's your name? Oh, I guess this is me. I, I named myself, but for what reason? If this is what I get, whatever. Okay. Anyway. Ara, where are my manners? I was having so much fun with you, and oh, okay. You put, she completely forgot everything because of how well endowed Jeff is. My name is Kiara. Okay. And as of today, I'll be your Nico Ara Ara Oni san. I don't know what she is saying and if it reflects what's being said on the screen or or what exactly. I'm sure some of it, but probably not all of it. You know? Your Kiara will always be here to take care of you. Whoa there, wait a minute. This Oh, it, it's so crazy. It all sounds just too good to be true, if you ask me. And Nico Anisan taking care of me, waking me up with an outstanding, you know, you know. I still can't recall anything that happened before I got here, but maybe I'm actually dead and this is really what heaven looks like. I have, I have way too many questions. I really have no idea who this Kiara girl is. Her attributes and mannerisms seem very interesting to me, at least. At least I should give her a chance. Okay. This is all very sudden, Kiara. I still don't really get what's going on here. Oh. My master doesn't remember anything? No, nothing at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, she's like, don't apologize to me. I think that's almost a given after being caught in the middle of a fierce battle between two warring factions. Warring factions? So those blurs of me being on the battlefield are true? Okay, alright. That's right. Unfortunately though, everywhere around us is being affected by the ongoing war. I don't know all the details, but apparently a corrupt goddess is leading a horde of succubi and dark elven women to sow chaos across the whole continent. And they aren't just sweeping through and conquering all the settlements in their path, either. They're also capturing and killing every man who dares to try to stop them. The strength of that goddess and her minions seem to be way too great. Okay, well that's not good. Oh, but don't you worry, Master. As long as we're here in the depths of the forest, we'll be safe. Plus, you're protected by me. So they'll be hard pressed to even find you. Hmm. So we're at war. But what was I doing out there? I mean, how did I even end up on the battlefield in the first place? Ah, oh, these unanswered questions are giving me such a headache. Oh, come, Master. Don't stress yourself out. Oh, okay. Yeah, my gorgeous servant, Kiara, is going to make me feel better. You have nothing to worry about, Nya. You see, according to what my tutor told me, you appeared on the battlefield out of nowhere, seemingly lost and confused. Hmm, that sounds uh, so far-fetched. I agree, but the important thing is that now you're with me, Master. Well, thank you, Kiara. 
I appreciate your kindness, but why? Why me? Out of everyone else you can have, why did you rescue me? Uh-oh, tell me the truth. My tutor asked me to rescue you. Plus, you looked pretty cute to me. Okay, all right. I'll take that, thank you. I knew you have something special. From the moment I saw you out there, I knew we were bound to meet each other. It was destiny. So I rescued you from the battlefield as fast as I could. Besides, with how complicating things have been as of late, there were fewer and fewer men around here in general, let alone human ones. It's becoming more and more rare to come across a human male who is still alive. Your kind is quite unique around here, you know that? Oh, that makes sense, I guess. Who knows what kind of horrible things the enemy forces would have done to you? I don't even want to imagine it. At this point, most of the male inhabitants have been killed off or are being tortured by succubi. Succubi. Nice. Hi. What? Oh, no, nothing. You're not just from a rare and valuable race, but your insides are also incredibly valuable. What, what, my insides? What, what the hell do you mean by my insides? This is giving me the creeps. Oh, don't be scared, master. You see? Oh, oh, okay. My, um, stuff. Let's, let's just say human men had the most powerful stuff in, ever. How about that? <laughs> oh, wow, well, it could be worth a fortune on the black market? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, because we're so rare? We're, we're in humans are endangered? What? Okay. So, so that's why we're talking about keeping. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Okie dokie. She's gonna use. She's gonna milk me. A cow. All right. Oh, but there's benefits. But there's benefits. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh huh. I bet you couldn't. I bet you couldn't, Kiara. You dirty, dirty girl. Okay. Uh huh. Sure you didn't. Sure you didn't. Okay. All right. All right. That's enough out of you, Kiara. For now. For now. Okay. All right. We'll get. We'll talk to you later. We'll talk to you later. We'll see. We'll we'll get to know you a little bit more. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed so far. If you did, make sure you smack the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.